All right, so today I'll be showing you guys how to change the screen on a Game Boy Advance SP. So this is the donor one, and it's a donor because, I mean, it works as it should, but the motherboard needs to be put on a IPS one. So we're gonna change the shell, change the screen. So yeah, that's a whole nother video. But this one, a customer wants to get the screen replaced on it uh, because there is some light back, there's something wrong with the backlight, okay? So yeah, first things first, you're going to need a donor screen. So this is the one I'm going to take it out of. If you have a donor screen already, which is disassembled, you can just skip this part, but I'm going to start with disassembling this Game Boy Advance SP to take out the screen. So I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to need the tools. If you do not have the right tools, get the right tools. I'm gonna remove that, remove that. Actually, the person that uh, owns this one tried opening it with the wrong tools. So they stripped a screw and I had to get around that. So uh, yeah, that was challenging. So yeah, I'm going to remove the six screws that are on the back. They all use the same trial wing opener. That is out, that is out, that is out. This is out, I'm going to put that aside. Now you're going to remove the three screws that are on the motherboard. Two and three, boom. Then you're going to lift the motherboard up and up like that. I'm just gonna remove these buttons. Oof, those are filthy and disgusting. And then, remove the screen cable, just like that. Boom, just lift those up and that comes out. That's the motherboard. So now you're going to remove this screw here. Boom, that just falls out. Oh, with the buttons. Yeah, I'll have to throw out the shell. As you can see, it's really scratched up anyways. And I don't really reuse parts. Could probably sell them, but meh. Then you're going to remove these, these right here, these stickers. I'm going to throw out mine on this one, so I'm not really re careful with them. But on the silver one, I will be really careful because that one I need, yeah, I mean, I'm doing it for a customer and he doesn't want a, sh a shell change. He only wants a screen change. So get those out, boom, nope, wrong screwdriver piece, change that and remove the five screws that are on here, one, come on, two, three, four, Five. Boom. Now you're going to close it and lift it up just like that, and that's the screen. I'm going to also preserve the speaker. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, just put that there. And that's the screen I'll be using. So, I'm gonna put everything aside here. I don't really need anything except the battery, the motherboard, and the speaker. Those are the only parts that I will be transferring over. And now, then I have a screen, I can open this up. So I'll start with the bottom, of course. Why did I start with the top? I'm gonna remove the battery cover. Boom, oh, and the battery, I guess. Then change the piece to a trial wing and remove the six screws that are on the back, except I only have five because one is stripped and it has been worked around. Let's say it like that. So remove those. Boom. And also remove this one. As you can see, it was stripped and uh, there is a workaround done on it. Boom. So it's basically just ripped out, I guess. So yeah, 
that is the cover. I'm going to preserve that. Then change to the plus. Remove the motherboard screws. There are three of them. And this little piece from the battery cover came out. So remember this one. If it didn't fall out for you, then congrats. But it did for me, so not congrats. Boom. Remove the screen cable just like that. Just lift that up. Remove this screw here. Come on, boom. And then, there we go. And then I'm going to just flip the motherboard so the buttons can fall out on my table and the speaker, I guess. Just so there's less to think about. I'll just move that. And then, remove all of these stickers and be careful with them if you want them to be preserved, I guess. There we go. There we go. That is out. And the last one is out. There we go. I'm gonna change the piece to tri wing again because the five top screen screws are tri wing. Removed. Come on, yeah, that one's out. It just doesn't want to come out. Three. Yeah, four and five. Boom, now just close it and just do that and it comes out. Now, take that old screen out, put in the new one and align that with this hole so you can get the screen cable through here. As you can see, the screen cable needs to go through that hole. And then you can just wiggle it around a little and close it. Boom. Now reinsert the screws. One screw. Why did that stick on the top? That's weird. It's plastic, it's not magnetic. Two. Three, four, and five. Now I'll just put in the stickers once again. One sticker, two stickers, three stickers, four stickers. Five. Oops. Now put this in. There we go. Close it and hold that there because you need a screw to make it stick. So that's the screw that fell out. And boom, that's in. Now just put in all of the buttons again and the speaker. All right, so put those in, put that in, put this plus in, and put this membrane in. There we go. Now, I'm gonna take the motherboard, just gonna take the cable a little out, just boom, drag that out, so you can have more to work with, and put it into the motherboard while the clips are open. And then once it's in all the way, put in the clips. Boom, boom, make sure they're all the way in. Make sure the cable is all the way in. And then just close this in. Now, we're going to change back to the right head, which I already had here. And you're going to put in the three motherboard screws. One, two, Three. And now take the cover. I'm going to put this right here. Boom. Aligned with the switch. Now we're going to take this piece if it fell out for you. I actually put it together and forgot to put it in the first time. So come on, just get that in. 
Come on. It might be a little hard to align because, yeah, Nintendo. I don't know why they chose to... There we go. And then you just... I just recommend that you just turn this around. You know what? Put in the switch here. The other way around. Otherwise, that piece will just fall out again. Make sure it's aligned with the power switch. So this is now on off. And I'm gonna, boom, align that. Make sure the power switch is correctly. Make sure that is in. Make sure the volume switch is also there. Now, I only have five screws, but you will most likely have six. So just put all of those in. Make sure they're in the right place. Four of these are the same and two of these are the same. Boom. One on the bottom. Boom. Boom. Put in the battery. Put in the cover. And guess what? Guess what? You're done. Boom. So that's how you do that. That's how you change the screen on Game Boy Advance SP. Thank you for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.